Kilrog's clan once ruled over the jungles. Until the Arakoa came. To survive, the clan went into hiding, living each day consumed by fear. Their chieftain even forbade them to stray beyond the borders of their forest refuge. For years, disease had eaten away at the once mighty warrior's flesh. And as he faded, so too did the clan's hope for the future. Father. One day the stream will dry up. Then we will find a way to carry on. Like this. Look at us. We were never meant to live this way. Jumping every time the wind blows. Every chieftain must make hard choices for the good of the clan. Is this the death you saw then? No. This is not the death I saw. But perhaps it is time you finally saw your own. Go. <sighs> Face your destiny. Kilrog was bound by the legacy of his father, and ruled by ancient tradition. Those who would one day become chieftain performed the most sacred of rituals. They would sacrifice an eye for a vision of their own death. Sometimes, the vision would show much more. Kilrog saw his clan not as they were, but as they could be. Crushing their enemies in a tide of savage bloodlust. And Kilrog was one of them. His determination unwavering. Even when death finally came for him, he did not fear what he saw. <laughs> he welcomed it. <coughs> so, tell me of your vision. My son, I saw our clan, strong and proud, victorious against our enemies, a glorious vision of the future. Why then do you seem so troubled? Because you were not a part of it. <laughs> you were right. Every chieftain must make hard choices for the good of the clan. At last, this, this is the death I saw. 